it's vital to understand that 95% of the aviation theory, practice and procedures I teach and of course personally use, on every flight since I started paragliding in the mid-90s, directly contradict what businesses like the BHP at Limited sell. Pilots should never forget there is a close, direct connection in aviation between input, theory, practice and procedures, and output, accident, injury and death rates. Might get the speed wing out, we'll see. But it uh, feels like it's just switching. No, it could be tides turned as well. 100% certain, but certainly pretty low. And when the tide turns, the water is moving in the same direction as the wind. So although you see less wind on the water, less waves, uh, because the water is moving in the same direction, it slows the wind down less. So you can actually low level get an increase in wind speed. So be interested to see just what the conditions are like and see whether it's viable. Half the wing, so the right wing is ready to be sorted. Definitely got much more solid feeling. Checking. So we've got tip it needs to be freed. As always, the more you pull, the more you got to lock it in. The key is dropping off the tension to get that out. Okay. Check the airspace. So, yeah, lines are clear of that wee rock. Not so much the rocks, but it's the wee rocks with seaweed on it. Right. Wind's hanging back, harness the other wing. And leave it A and harness. Right. Okay, so roll control collect. Backtrack. Which is good. Wind direction currently is clear of tents near point, so pretty well straight out the estuary. Backtrack, roll control, so now down on reach level I'm getting some lift. Might be able to hop around the tree from here. Definitely towards the top end. Tip line. There we go. Side step check the airspace. We go, bring it round. And again, keep the speed on. So doable, but you can see from the lift low down there, the potential is that it's too windy up there. So, what I want to do is See if I can backtrack up to the main takeoff, really assess the wind at wing height when I'm at the top of the ridge or getting close to the top of the ridge. Check the airspace. International call sign. And the G bit is the aircraft registration. Twenty six square meters. The, the tandem's forty four, and the smallest wing I've flown is seven. <laughs> I 
the smallest wing of fly here is 13 and a half. It's a speed wing, it just goes down very quickly. Uh, not here, but uh, the highest I've been in Scotland is over a mile, which is quite high, five and a half thousand feet. Difference between nautical mile and statute mile, of course. 5,280 feet, a meter 6,000. Yeah, right, so probably launch from about this height. We'll see. Over the top of the tree. There we go. Break around, check the airspace. Keeping on the side slip ready for the turn. Adjustment on the harness, check the airspace. You want to really keep the shorter beats. Check it. Through the risers, the wing is giving you lots of information. Reversal, checking. Stop. Slip. Resume climb. Set. You can see the hands are running. It's almost all harness control. Check the airspace. We'll go around the tree thing on this one. Check the airspace. Always get ready for escape routes around the tree. Ready for the reversal, slipping her in, so flying it sideways, checks, checks, and easing over the road path. Then you get fishermen out at the point, assess the ground speed, decide whether it go around behind the tree. Okay. 
of space. what maybe four inches of brake holding it the side slip checking still side slipping it you can see the microphone there but I'm flying it sideways vectored side slip I'm gonna come over the three that want to go around probably the wee one this time the side slip will come off So, this time zoom climb the top and over, doing the dive and round. Check. Shoot. Holding it there, cut round the tree. Bring both sides just to drift backwards a bit more and easing off, checking the space. the wind changes checking holding the side slip zoom climb up and over the back of the camera. Oh yes. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Nice and technical, so hopefully the commentary on the camera picks up nicely. So, negative ground speed at the moment. So as I'm going downwind, my airspeed at the wing is the wind speed plus my negative ground speed. Keep checking the airspace. I might leave the wall for the pavement so I can add in a bit more ground speed to hop across and I might just take a break. So currently here, because of the ridge, the wing is pointing to the Aye. 